The South Carolina legislative session starts back up next week, and lawmakers will have to decide what to do with nearly a billion extra dollars. One Myrtle Beach lawmaker wants to use the surplus to put more money into the state employees' pockets. Julie Calhoun from our sister station in Myrtle Beach has our story. I have real trouble recruiting state employees and public employees because the market, we're just not keeping up with the market. So this will give us that big, you know, a, a, a big bump over a fairly short period of time. South Carolina lawmakers have about a billion extra dollars to work with, and 500 million of that is recurring funds, meaning it will come in year after year. Senator Greg Hembry wants to use recurring funds to pay for the salary increase. In the first year, you increase it 5 percent. Second year, two and a half. Third year, two and a half. So over the course of three years, you're looking at a 10 percent salary increase. But he says state employees who make more than $100,000 a year will not receive an increase. School teachers making $36,000 a year. I mean, a 10 percent increase is mon is real money. It's going to make a difference. About 40 percent of teachers leave the profession in the first five years. This current budget year, Warren County teachers received a 3 percent pay increase, 1 percent from the state, and 2 percent from the school district. Give them a step increases and, and give them as much raise as we can affordably uh, with the budgets that we have currently. And uh, but this is great news that it will not have to come out of our budget. School leaders and Senator Hembry say it will also help with economic activity. I think it'll be great for morale. I think it'll be great for our economy because, you know, as a school district, we are one of the largest employers in the county. Senator Hembry says this could be a tough bill to pass, but he's ready to discuss it when lawmakers return to the state capitol on January 8th.